Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the cell phone versus your eyes. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a TV remote and a cell phone. Okay. Welcome back uh, to Kids Fun Science. Today we're going to do an experiment on a remote control. So you need to go grab your TV remote, DVD, you know, any kind of remote that um, controls that device from a distance, right? And if you press the button, Put it right there and I press I'm pressing the button you're not going to see anything right so you're not going to see anything with your your own eye but when you use another uh, phone or a camera here we'll get my camera going um, and we set it up uh, bring this over here so you can see um, and then we put it up and bring that there now we should be able to see. You can see the light right there. A little hard here trying to get this to work, but you can see the light blinking as I press the remote, and you're able to see uh, a signal uh, that is going to your DVD or your your rec uh, to your uh, TV, and so you're unable to see that uh, when you're with your own naked eye. But when you put it in with your camera, uh, you're able to see that, which is pretty amazing. Um, I found also that if I use the camera coming towards me, I was able to see it. But when I use the camera um, this way and I tried to do it, um, it doesn't uh, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't go on. So the front camera must have a little bit less capability and is able to pick up uh, that infrared um, uh, signal. So your remote control in your house for your TV has an infrared light that transmits whenever you're changing desires a small detector, right? So it's switching on where your human eye can't see that, right? So as the remote flashes that signal, it's a little bit like Morse code. So it's going to go on and off and it's going to, uh, each little device in your house speaks a little bit different language that prevents the television uh, to do strange things like turn it on, turn it off, change channels. Um, it's sending those signals just like Morse code. Um, so it, it sends it off. So every model, you know, if you're having a different Samsung to uh, to any other different device that you're doing, a uh, different manufacturer speaks a different language to avoid, uh, you know, avoid unwanted chit chats between different appliances. So to successfully send these signals, your remote needs to direct line of sight. Uh, that eliminates that LED uh, to detect your gadget, right? So this has to be directly down to your remote, to the TV, so it can pick up that information. So um, it's pretty cool that you're able to see it with the camera, the front-facing camera, and to be able to do that. So I think it's pretty awesome. And, you know, so the, the real question is, how come we can see it with the camera, but we can't see it through our eyes? So the human eyeball cannot see in flared light, no matter how hard you might try, squint, or, or uh, you know, do whatever you need to do to see it. But your camera light detectors uh, can, however. They're really sensitive to the infrared light. So the camera internal circuit sends that uh, signal that detects and sees that uh, liquid crystal, right, the LCD, and then em emits the uh, visible light to your eyes and so you can see it through through the um, through, through the camera pretty impressive so uh, when you get a chance uh, get done with this video remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe and grab your TV remote and start clicking thanks for watching okay guys just let it out like go check out that video Ooh, and that video Oh, and also, like, way down there, there's a red button to subscribe. And what about these videos? And click on these two videos at the same time. And those two videos and these videos. And, yeah.